हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिविल इंजीनियर एंड मैथ गुरु टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ हैव टू नो व्हाट इज बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल द अल्टीमेट बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल इज द मैक्सिमम लोड व्हिच इट कैन कैरी विदाउट फेलर और एक्सेसिव सेटलमेंट ऑफ द ग्राउंड ओके सो बेयर अल्टीमेट बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल इज नथिंग बट दैट लोड व्हिच इट कैन कैरी विदाउट settlement or without failure of or excessive settlement of the ground so the bearing capacity of pile also depends on the method of installation okay so now we, i will discuss about the method for the find out the bearing capacity of pile first of all i have to i will discuss about analytical method now let's see here it is a pile having length l and it is the bearing area ab and surface area as okay that is the ground level and uh, its bearing load is qup okay so the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile is given by qup equals to qub that is the qub equals to end bearing capacity end bearing capacity plus frictional resistance okay that is the skin friction qs so end bearing capacity of the pile will be Uh, so the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile will be end bearing plus skin friction okay plus skin friction now another formula is coming here qb qp equals to qb plus ab plus qs into s where qb is the end bearing resistance in unit area end bearing resistance in unit area and ab is the uh, that is the bearing area and qs is the skin uh, skin friction resistance of unit area okay and uh, as is the surface area is the total total surface area okay total surface area of the pile so now we have to find out the value of the qb qb is nothing but qb equals to 9c where c is the unit cohesion at base of the pile for clay is okay and uh, qs equals to alpha square the uh, c test equals to unit addition between the pile and the soil so this were the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile and now shape bearing capacity so shape bearing capacity is nothing but if we divide this ultimate bearing capacity by factor of shape is then it will give us the shape bearing capacity of the pile so q up by f s f is the factor of safety so q ultimate q shape we can write here it is hmm, q shape in this way q e b that is the end bearing by f1 plus q s f by s2 f2 okay where f1 equals to 3 and f2 equals to 2 okay now i will discuss about the dynamic approach okay so dynamic in dynamic approach i will discuss about engineering news formula in this formula the ultimate bearing capacity of the pile is given by w into a is by s plus c and the allowable load on the pile is given by qap equals to qup divided by 6 so if we put this value qup here you will get w into a is by 6 into s plus c okay so now w equals to weight of the hammer in kg weight of the hammer in kg and a is equals to height of fall of the hammer in centimeter okay and this is the final set c is a constant and value of this c equals to 2.5 cm for the drop hammer mind it is very important okay and 0.25 cm for steam hammer whether it is single acting or double acting okay single acting or double acting okay single acting or double acting okay it is applicable for the for this two case okay now for the drop hammer formula for qap so if we use this steam hammer so we have to put the value of C equals to 0.25 in this equation, okay. 
and if we use the drop hammer then we have to put the value of 2.5 in this equation okay now number two Hillis formula it's sometimes known as is formula is formula so now in this formula the ultimate bearing capacity of file is given by qp equals to nita is into data b into w into a is by s plus c by 2 okay qp and uh, qap that is allowable pressure is given by qap by fs that is a factor of safety okay now factor of safety it is given by 3 i am writing here this 3 okay and data uh, is is given by efficiency of the hammer efficiency of hammer and the nita b equals to efficiency of blow efficiency of blow now we have to know what is the value of the nita is and the nita b now nita is equals to 0 0.752 0.85 for single acting steam hammer single acting steam hammer okay and uh, tie is equals to 0.752 0 0.80 for double acting steam hammer okay for double acting steam hammer okay and uh, it is equals to 1 for drop hammer for drop hammer okay now we have to know what is the nita b so nita b equals to energy of hammer after impact en energy of hammer after impact by energy of hammer just before impact energy of hammer just before impact okay before impact so now <coughs> value of nita v is given by w plus E square P by <coughs> W plus P okay for in W greater than E into P okay <coughs> and tab equals to W plus E square P by W plus P minus 
डब्ल्यू माइनस सी पी बाई डब्ल्यू प्लस पी वेन डब्ल्यू लेस दैन ई पी ना आई उल इलाबोरेट व्हाट इज ई एंड पी ओके सो हेयर पी इज द वेट ऑफ पाइल प्लस पाइल कैप वेट ऑफ द हेमर इन केस सो डब्ल्यू इज द वेट इन हेमर इन केस जी एंड ई इज द कोपिशियंट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके इक्वल्स टू सीओ एफ एफ आई सी आई एन टी कोपिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन आर एस टी आई टी यू टी आई ओ एन एस कोपिशियंस ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन एंड इट्स वैल्यू फॉर वुडन पाइल पॉइंट टू फाइव फॉर वुडन पाइल ओके Wooden pile, and its value is given by point four zero four concrete pile. Okay. Concrete pile, and point five five for steel pile. Okay. Steel pile. and all these terms are same okay and p is the weight of the pile sorry i am writing here p equals to weight of pile plus pile cap okay so guys this were the formula for finding out the ultimate bearing capacity of piles so thank you for watching this video kindly do share and subscribe my channel thank you